You're a pro at dealing with easy clients who don't bring in much cash, aren't you? I always send them your way. Ha <laughs> ha. It's nothing to be concerned about, Yui-san. This is just his typical behavior. What? Hey Sato, I should be the one in charge, not you. You don't have the skills for this. Excuse me, but if you're planning on switching the person in charge, our deal is off. My name is Keiichi Sato. I'm currently working for this company, Days Design, and we specialize in cotton spinning. I'm leaving this client in your hands, Sato. Yes, sir. His name is Kato-san. He consistently passes me clients who yield minimal profit, also referred to as undesirable clients. It's unbelievable that he's trying to improve his image at work by only working with clients who will bring in huge profits just for himself. Wow, he's really just using everyone to climb the ladder of success. One day, I was asked by Kato-san to handle a specific client. Sato-kun, can we have a little chat? <laughs> I've been handling sales for this client for a bit, but it's time to switch to a new one, you see. Time to switch to a new one? I figured it would be best if you took care of that client. So that's why I'm asking you to take over from today. And you are... My name is Yui Mikami, CEO of Limited. Pleased to meet you. M my name is Sato. Pleased to meet you too. Whoa, she's super pretty. Sato, this customer is right up your alley. Ha <laughs> ha! What? You're a pro at dealing with easy clients who don't bring in much cash, aren't you? I always send them your way. Ha <laughs> ha! What? You didn't even have to mention that in front of Yui-san. It's nothing to be concerned about, Yui-san. This is just his typical behavior. Th thank you. After that, I was officially given the responsibility of managing Yui-san's company. Yui-san is the CEO of Non-Color Corporation LTD, a retail company specializing in women's clothing. The company was brand new and had barely any stores or staff. And now, Kato-san's put me in charge since he didn't see much potential for growth. It's understandable he gave up on my business. I was only getting tiny orders from your company with no real profit anyways. Kato-san is way off base. Things never work out perfectly from the start. That's just not right to abandon a client without even trying to work with them. Yui-san, don't stress about it. Let's just focus on doing our best from here on out. Sato-san. It's not often that things work out, but your company is seriously impressive. I truly appreciate your encouragement, Sato-san. It really brightens my day. Yui-san and I have been keeping in touch a lot about her company since then. Yui-san's stories and experiences really inspired me, and I was fully dedicated to working together to make her company even better. Hmm? Sato, aren't you putting in too much work for that client? Kato-san? Let's be real, I don't think that company has a lot of potential. Don't you think it's time to shift your focus to more important clients? G that's not the way I see it. We'll see if that's really the case. <laughs> sure, what he said might be true for the moment. Yusun's newly established company is often labeled as an undesirable client because of their tendency to offer low prices. But nobody should be looked down upon for trying to better their circumstances through hard work. Despite Kato-san's rude remarks, I kept going and researched ways to make Yui-san's business even better. And as a result, I was able to pinpoint the issue with her business through my own perspective. Yui-san's story was the source of the issue. She failed to incorporate her customers' perspectives in her store. To provide an example, it was a hassle to nail down the prices of the products on display. And her store didn't think about how customers would move around once they got inside. I talked to this client who had already tackled these issues, and I thought Yui-san could benefit from their solutions too. Wouldn't it be nicer to have mannequins wearing softer colors at the front of the store when people first come in? Oh, really? I figured brighter colors would catch people's attention more. Basically, the first thing the customers notice when they walk into the store sets the tone for their whole shopping experience. So I was thinking, how about dressing your mannequins in the popular soft-toned clothes from your store? It could really help customers grasp the overall feel of your store. It'll help customers grasp overall feel of my store? What makes you think you know anything about my store? 
Oh, I, I'm sorry. That was uncalled for. Whoa! I'm sorry. Wait, are these reviews about my store? And there's a ton of data on the store's layout. It's quite overwhelming. I gathered a variety of customer reviews that I discovered online. And after I gathered everything, I started picturing what your customers are looking for. And what kind of store layout would be most suitable for your store. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I didn't think you had looked into this. I didn't know you were really thinking about my store. My whole job is just sales and meeting with different clients. But I feel like we both share the same goal of making customers happy, Yui-san. I want to lend a hand and assist you in any way I can. Sato-san, you're totally right. It's all about how we feel. I couldn't agree more. Exactly. So, let's brainstorm some sales tactics for your business together. Like this, Yui-san made the choice to thoroughly reassess the product displays and store layout, while also taking my ideas into account. Due to the improvements, Yui-san's company saw a continuous boost in sales, and eventually became a publicly traded company. After the company became publicly traded, Yui-san gave me a new order. Sato-san, I have a new order for you. Yui-san, thank you very much. What are the details of the order? By this point, the cost of the orders placed by Yui-san's company had significantly increased. It was nowhere near the amount when I first took on her company. Holy cow, you're offering so much for this order. <laughs> Sato-san, I couldn't have done it without you. Your help and support mean everything to me. And guess what? People at work have been talking about you. They're all saying you're a fantastic and reliable salesman. Hmm, I have to admit, I'm a little jealous. What do you mean? But knowing that others appreciate you makes me happy too. <laughs> what? Her smile is insanely cute. I'm happy that we pulled through and got some solid results. All that effort we put in paid off, and I'm hoping we can keep working together for a good while. As we're celebrating Yui-san's company's success like this... Hmm? Yukami-san from Non-Color is here again? Wonder what they're up to now. Huh? When did you begin placing these expensive orders with us? I've been ordering at this price for the past week. For the past week? And you're planning on growing your business even more by opening more stores, right? Mm-hmm. You're right. We gotta get more people on board. So, we'll be busier than ever. I had no clue her company expanded this big. Hey Sato, I should be the one in charge for her company, not you. I beg your pardon? Excuse me, but if you're planning on switching the person in charge, our deal is off. Wait, what did you just say? I wouldn't be the person I am now without Sato-san. There's no one more genuine and truthful than him, even if someone else was in charge. Yui-san! I don't think we're gonna see eye to eye, so let's talk about it again at the cafe, okay? H hold on! No, please! Wait! Ma'am! Come on, there are plenty of people who are way more honest and genuine than Sato. Oh, really? Who else did you have in mind? When you thought my company was a lost cause and gave up, was there anyone besides Sato-san who could handle my company? G it, everyone was tied up during that time. Even I was, you know. I was excited at the opportunity to work with your company. But I just couldn't find the time to do it, that's all. How strange. I was told that right after Sato-san became responsible for our company, a friend of mine placed a huge order with your company. And it was you, Kato-san, who handled it. Am I mistaken? And I heard you handed off all the less profitable clients and cases to Sato-san. That's... So, if I'm understanding correctly, you only went for clients and tasks that would bring you success. That's been your game plan, hasn't it? So, Kato-san, now that I've figured out your thought process, do you really think I'd let you or anyone else take care of our orders? Er, S Sato, I gave you this client in the first place. Don't you remember? If you're planning on switching clients, I can help you. What the heck are you talking about? Not a chance. I've been working with Yui-san and her team to make her company even better. 
How did they go from being a small company to being listed on the stock market? I've been keeping track of her company's development, and I think I'm the perfect person to handle it. Don't you agree? Er, er, but, but... Sato-kun, can we talk for a moment? S sir Why are you here, sir? I've been wanting to talk with you, Sato-kun. Me? Recently, I've been receiving numerous calls from the clients who are all under your care. Calls? What do you mean? You have nothing to worry about. The calls are all positive. They're all grateful to you. Your clients are saying that their businesses are doing better because of your honesty and hard work. Did you find time to drop by and see them every day? I was just trying my best with the people I do business with. <laughs> Sato-san, your efforts may seem ordinary to you, but others can't even come close to what you're capable of. Good. No, no way. Why are all of the Sato's clients doing so well? I was the first one handling non-color corporation LTD. On the other hand, Kato-kun, why are you acting this way? You're treating startups and low-profit projects as if they have no value. I've heard from some of the employees that you've been going around calling our clients undesirable? Is that true? What the heck is wrong with you? How could you treat your clients like that? That's... Yes, that's what I said, but let's be real. We gotta do it for the money, right? Low-profit projects don't generate money, and low-profit clients have limited potential for growth. Sato's achievements with non-color corporation LTD were simply a matter of luck. Do you believe that success is purely based on luck? If that's true, then your current position in this company is also just a matter of luck, isn't it? Eek! But, but sir! It's about time you stop underestimating. Both the people in your company and those you do business with. I, I apologize, sir. I'll be extra careful from now on. I forbid you to use the word luck when referring to someone's efforts. Do you understand? Now if you'll excuse me, keep up the good work, Sato-kun. Thank you very much, sir. What? Why? Damn it! Sato-san was always upfront and real with his clients, no matter who they were. He'd put in a lot of effort to make sure they were taken care of. But Kato-san, you've never done that. So that's why things ended up like this, right? What did you just say? This person who doesn't even have a job here thinks they're an expert on everything. Hey. Businesses only exist because they make money. We're not here to just do charity work, you know. Whoever wastes their time on low-paying clients or projects, obviously, doesn't have a clue about how things operate in the world. You're wrong, Kato-san. What did you just say? A workplace is just a place, but it's the people who give it life. And naturally, everyone has their own unique thoughts and perspectives. So how can you claim to know about how things operate in the world? if you can't even understand people's thoughts and emotions. Ugh. Being a salesman, I've picked up on something while dealing with my clients. P picked up on something? What's that? If you're not honest with others, you won't see genuine outcomes. Urgh. Sure, making a profit is important, but if you're not honest, you'll go bankrupt. And that's just defeating the whole purpose. But receiving orders from a brand new business is... You can't judge a book by its cover, or, in this case, just by numbers. Exactly. Sado-san, you really made an effort. To get to know who we are, instead of just looking at our statistics. Yes, that's right. If we don't understand the employees and their tasks within the company, we can't say we're being genuine in our job. I could just sense that from you, and it makes me have complete faith in you. I would also prioritize honest with clients if it leads to profit. <sighs> Kato-san, if Sato-san's main goal was profit, he wouldn't have succeeded like he did. Yui-san, you're absolutely right. My aim was to appreciate the dedication of my clients who are putting in hard work towards the same goal. And, of course, to express gratitude to those who choose to purchase our products. <laughs> you being yourself? is what has led to your success, Sato-san. Uh, oh, I, I see. I totally messed up, didn't I? <laughs> Kato-san, I'm sorry, Sato and Yui-san. I've been so busy chasing profits that I forgot what's truly important. I'm sorry for everything I've done. 
Soon after, the CEO directly appraised my sales performance, and I was promoted to Kato-san's position. Kato-san was demoted as a result, and is no longer able to behave arrogantly in the company like he did before. Working with you again, Yui-san, is something I'm truly looking forward to. I feel the same way. Um, by the way, Sato-san, would you be up for going on dates with me outside of work as well? What? Dates? You mean? Y yes, that's what it exactly means. I strive to always be honest and genuine in my interactions with those I care for. Thanks for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel.